Apologies have been received from Deputy Lisa Chambers and Deputy Billy Kelleher. Before we begin, I would ask members to ensure their phones are switched off or on airplane mode. It is not enough to put them on silent, it is con as this can cause interference which negatively impacts on the broadcast. This, this meeting has been convened for the purpose of considering the Industrial Relations Amendment Bill 2018, which was referred to the Select Committee by order of the Dáil on the 18th of October 2018. I would like to welcome Minister of State Pat Breen and his officials to the meeting. There were seven amendments tabled, all of which have been ruled out of order. It is intended that we will consider this bill until we conclude committee stage today. Is that agreed? We will now proceed to the consideration of the bill, unless the Minister would like to say something before we commence. Yeah, a, a few words, yes. Chair, if you don't, if you, if you don't yes, mind. I'll be course. quite short in relation to the whole bill. Um, it, it's a quite short bill, as you know. Of course, the, the main purpose, as, as deputies know, is to, of the bill is to give access to the Gaulish Econa, to the WRC and to the Labour Court. Um, as you know, the bill, when enacted, will allow members of the Gaulish Econa to avail of the broad suite of services, including mediation, conciliation and adjudication of the WRC and, of course, the services of the Labour Court in the event of industrial relations dispute involving members of the Garda Shikana. Uh, Chair, you know, the bill also forms a part of the ambitious four-year plan for the implementation of the recommendations outlined in the report for the Commission for the Future of Policing in Ireland. And, of course, accordingly, uh, this bill recognises that they guard the Commissioner as the employer instead of the Department of Justice and Equality and has the lead responsibility in engaging in discussions on pay and conditions for the purposes of the bill. The bill, as I said, uh, members, uh, is, is very short. It contains just five sections and makes a small number of legislative amendments to the Industrial uh, Relations Act 1990. Uh, the amendments affect primary, they affect Section 3 and 23 of the Industrial Relations Act 1990 uh, in terms of uh, certain definitions such as uh, a member of the Gaul Shikana, a worker employer, and extends also the concept to what is, um, for instance, constitu constitutes a contract of employment within the meaning of the trade disputes involving members of the Garda Shikana. A schedule to the bill also seeks to actively disapply certain provisions of industrial relations legislation, uh, particularly in relation to the ability of the Gardaí to take industrial action. I think that's important, or engage in strike action, etc. So thank you very much, Chair, for allowing me an in introduction to the bill itself, and um, I, I welcome uh, um, whatever contributions members have in this uh, bill. Thank you very much, Minister. Um, would any of the, the members like to make a contribution? Uh, Deputy Lawless. Yeah, well, just thank you, Chair, and thanks, Minister. Just in brief, you to follow us supporting the bill. We think it's important. It's an important step. Um, and indeed, the Gardaí are on the front line uh, and are hardworking, but are in a somewhat unique situation in terms of industrial relations policies to date. Um, and that has been a challenge both for them and for the state in the past. Um, so it is important that they're recognised and that this, I suppose, a situation is, is addressed somewhat, at least in the bill. Um, so look, it's a positive step. We support it. And Godspeed to its passage. Thank you very much. Deputy Quinn Levin. I yeah, um, just want to thank the Minister for coming and the officials for coming today. But Minister, as you're, you're probably aware, my colleagues Dep David Cullinan and Angus O'Snolly introduced a bill in, a, uh, in a bill in April 2017 that would allow members of the Irish Defence Forces and Algarve Shikana to be classified as workers in legislation and give them the option to form trade unions. The purpose of the Sinn Féin Bill, the Trade Union, Garda Shikana and Defence Forces Bill 2017 is to allow the representative associations on Garda Shikana and Defence Forces to reconstitute, reconstitute themselves as trade unions if they wish, giving them full access to the state's industrial relations mechanisms while making it illegal for on Garda and the Defence Forces to engage in strike action for reasons of public safety and national security. Rulings by the European Court of Human Rights and the Council of Europe the increase in industrial action within Angarda Shikana and the continued negative treatment by the state of members of the Defence Forces in terms of paying conditions were all reasons as to why we introduced our bill. The continued ban 
in this in this state on trade unions within on Garda Shikana and the Defence Forces is in, is in violation, we believe, of international agreements and the fundamental rights of those employed in those sectors. The bill that the Minister has brought forward has a similar, albeit considerably more limited, aim, seeking to amend the Industrial Relations Act 1990 to allow just members of Angarda Shikana and their representative associations to access the state's industrial relations mechanism, namely the Workplace or the Workplace Relations Commission and the Labour Court. Gardaí have waited too long to be allowed access to the industrial mechanisms of the state, resulting in internal disputes escalating due to no forum being available to address conflicts at an early stage. So although this move is long overdue, it is also very, very welcome. Sinn Féin also believe that members of Angarda Shikana and Defence Forces should be allowed to join a trade union if they wish, and members of the Defence Forces should also be allowed to access the Workplace Relations Commission and Labour Court in the same way as Gardaí would be permitted under this bill. So I have a couple of questions there. Can the Minister clarify if there's any particular reason why members of the Defence Forces are ex specifically excluded under this bill? Although these changes for the members of Angarda Shikana is very welcome, as I've said already, it is far more limited than what we in Sinn Féin would previously have proposed. And so we do intend to bring forward amendments at a report stage to help strengthen the rights of Garda and members of the Defence Forces. I have two small technical questions, which probably will, you might be able to answer. Uh, the first one is why will members of the Defence Forces not be defined as workers by this bill? And the second one, if it's up to the Minister for Defence to decide that members of the Defence Forces are allowed access to the WRC, will amendments we submit relating to Defence Forces personnel be allowed or will they be ruled out of the water? Okay, um, just before we continue, uh, Minister, um, technically you don't, have to reply, you don't have to respond to those questions at this stage. If, if you do not, it, it, it's completely up to yourself. It's under... Um, it's understanding order 151 in committee a bill must be considered section by section it shall be in order however before consideration of a section or sections is entered upon to move the postponement of the section or sections until another section or schedules have been disposed of any section of a bill may be amended in committee and new sections may be inserted so you can flag if you like yeah. when the time comes That's fine, yeah. a particular and we can just and it's noted. Thank you, um, Deputy Quinn Levin. No so we will now proceed to the consideration of the bill. So firstly, um, I am going to deal with Section 1. And the question is that Section 1 stand part of the bill. Is that agreed? Agreed. Uh, section 2. And the question is that Section 2 stand part of the bill. Agreed. Agreed. Thank you. Section 3. Amendment 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 I propose to take together. These five amendments are not relevant to the provisions of the Bill and have been ruled out of order. So the question is that Section 3 stand part of the Bill. Is that agreed? Yeah. Agreed. Section 4. And I would like to state on the record that this section has been opposed by Deputy Bree Smith, Deputy Gino Kenny, and Deputy Boyd Barrett. And the question is that Section 4 stand part of the bill. Is that agreed? Agreed. Okay, Section 5. And I propose to take um, Amendment 6 and 7 together. And again, um, both Amendments 6 and 7 are not relevant to the provisions of the Bill and have been ruled out of order. So the question is, does Section 5 stand part of the Bill? Is that agreed? Okay, that this be the title to the Bill. An Act to amend the Industrial Relations Act 1990 in order to provide for the application of certain provisions of the Industrial Relations Act 1946 to 2015 to certain members of the Garda Shukona and to provide for related matters. Is that agreed? In accordance with Standing Order number 90, the following message will be sent to the Clerk of the Dole. The Select Committee on Business, Enterprise and Innovation has completed its consideration of the Industrial Relations Amendment Bill 2018 and has made no amendments thereto. Right, you I, can. To, I'm still able to introduce amendments at reports so you want, when, it go, when it goes back to the Dáil. Yes, that's correct. Um, can, can you just... Um, I, I so, um, 
I didn't the, hear the question. The, the deputy can still uh, introduce amendments at, re at report stage. Is that correct? Because I, he I has flagged so, yeah. it prior yeah. to. Yeah. I'm not 100% yes. sure. Yes, no, he, you, you absolutely can in relation you to can, the matters yeah. that you have okay. raised during, during, during the discussions. Yeah, yeah, okay. So, um, just to repeat, the Select Committee on Business, Enterprise and Innovation has completed its consideration of the Industrial Relations Amendment Bill 2018 and has made no amendments thereto. I would like to thank the Minister and his officials for attending today's meeting, and I declare the meeting adjourned. Senior Day. Gorf Mahal